Hey guys, we're back um, with math routines, this time doing perimeter. Uh, you might need paper and pencil towards the end, but most of it should be mental math. What is the perimeter of the shape? So perimeter is the total distance around the outside, that's important, just the outside of the shape. So on this shape, we have a rectangle. If you remember, think about what do we know about rectangles? What I remember about rectangles is that on a rectangle, all of the sides have an opposite side as the, that is the exact same. So rectangles have opposite sides that are equal. Let me go ahead and start with one side. I'm going to start with this side um, that's going up and down on the left. And I'll count there are one, two, three square units on the left side of this rectangle. So I'm going to write down three on this side. And then remember what I know about rectangles, if that side is three, the opposite side, so the side on the right, also has to be three square units. So I'll put three there. And then we can figure out the top and the bottom. The top side of this rectangle is one, two, three, four, five square units long, which means the bottom side is also five square units long. And you can go back and check. One, we already counted that one, two, three, four, and five square units long. So now we know what all of the sides are. Remember, perimeter is the total distance around the outside of a shape. So we know what the sides are. We need to create an equation that's going to help us figure out what the perimeter is. So the equation I'm going to use, I'm just going to take those numbers that I just figured out and do repeated addition, add up all of these sides. And I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna say five plus five plus three plus three. Now that's just the way that Mr. Roper likes to do it. I like to put the bigger numbers first because it's just easier for my brain to add them up together. If you wanna do five plus three plus five plus three, that's fine. Um, either way you mix up the numbers, you'll still get the same answer. So like I said, I like to put the big numbers first. So I have five plus five plus three plus three. So then I start with my five plus five. That'll give me 10. And then I still have my three plus three left over, which gives me six. And I'm gonna add those two together which would give me a perimeter of 16. So for this rectangle, it is a five by three rectangle, which means that the perimeter is going to be a perimeter of 16 square units long. What is the perimeter of the two shapes combined? So here we have two different rectangles and you need to figure out what is the perimeter, the distance around the outside of both of these shapes. I'm gonna help us get started and then you get to finish on your own. So for this first shape, first rectangle on the left, if we figure out all of the sides first, I can count one, two, three, four, five square units on the left side of this rectangle, which means the other side is also five square units. And the top is, we counted one, two, three. The top is three square units, which means that what? The bottom is also three square units. So we know the dimensions, we know all the sides of this rectangle. Now you can create um, an equation to solve. If you remember from before, we already did this one. This is the same shape we had on the problem before. It's just turned up. So we know the perimeter of this is five plus five plus three plus three, which is going to give you a perimeter of 16 square units. So now all you have to do is find the perimeter of the shape on the right, and then add that to the perimeter of the shape on the left. You can put your answer in the comments. What is the perimeter of the shape below? So here, what do you notice that's different about this rectangle than the ones we've been using before? This rectangle doesn't give you the square units on the inside, but it does tell you the dimensions. We know the length of this rectangle 
is five, how long it is, is five centimeters long. And the width, how wide it is, is seven centimeters long. So we can still use that information to help us figure out perimeter. So if you think about what we learned on the other slides, what do we know about rectangles? We know that rectangles have opposite sides that are the same. So if this side, the left side, is five centimeters long, the other side of this rectangle also needs to be five centimeters long. If the bottom side of this rectangle is seven centimeters wide, the top side also needs to be seven centimeters wide. I'll leave the rest to you. Again, put your answers in the comments. What is the perimeter? So again here, no square units are shown, but they do tell you the dimensions. Eight by three, so we have a width of eight yards wide, a length of three yards long. And then remember what you know about um, rectangles is that only in rectangles, we've got sides, the opposite sides are equal. So remember that when you try to work out this problem, Ms. Roper is not helping this time, leave your answer in the comments. Here's a tricky one that I threw in for you. What is the perimeter of this shape? This one's tricky because it's not a rectangle, which means that the opposite sides are not going to always be the same. You really have to pay attention to the shape, but here you don't have to do the extra work with figuring out what side is what, because if you look at this shape, they already told you how long each side is. We have this shape that is four by six by four by three. So you just need to come up with an equation that is going to get you the total distance around the outside of this wonky shape. 